Hey everybody, welcome uh, to tonight's stream. I think I'm right on time. Oh, 9.01, I'm a minute late. Sorry guys, apologize for that. Um, if you saw my tweet earlier, you probably noticed um, that I tweeted out we're, we're going to Hoth um, this evening. Some things I want to say uh, just uh, be before we really get going here is that uh, number one, you can't see me other than my hands. Hello. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, my actual face cam is way over there. Um, to improve the build space, I actually uh, moved everything over uh, to a normal build space that I have where I usually do all sorts of things like models and RC planes and stuff like that. Um, so you might see little things up on the edges here like all the spare Legos, other things I haven't built yet, um, the base of the, the stand that the camera is currently mounted on. Um, but I think this is a better space. I can see, which I couldn't before which was a pretty good thing, but the trade-offs are this. I can't actually um, reach my keyboard because it's about four feet that way. The camera uh, I can't really use because I'd be a tiny speck off over in the corner. So you don't get to see my smiling face, just my supermodel gorgeous hands. So there you go. Um, again, this is the, uh, the Star Wars uh, set 75138, which is the Hoth attack, which should not be confused um, with the Hoth assault, which is a ginormous um, $250 set from Lego that they just released. Um, it kind of upset some people when they released that because really the, the ginormous set includes this set, um, includes some other smaller sets. And it, it's sort of more like a, a giant buy it all in one package set than it is a unique, new, shiny Lego thing, which kind of torqued a few people. So this is, this is something that I'm kind of happy about. Uh, Lego started doing this a few years ago. When I was little, they didn't do this. And this, in question, is numbering bags. So that you know, hey, bag number two, I can set aside because we're not there yet. And it also calls out in the instructions what to do. Do them like this. Do not pile them all up. So we're going to start with number one. The other thing uh, that, that I like about this is I can actually put the instructions in front of me so you can see them. So all of these things should allegedly come out of bag number one. And you'll be able to see Edger Inspire. Everything that I'm going to do. Uh, by the way, this is not a toy. Legos are a toy. Plastic bags are not. Says so, right there. Not a toy, and I'm just throwing it on the ground. I'm sure it looked like I was, you know, responsibly not littering or something. So other oddities you may see, these blue lines. These blue lines are there for me. Can you tell why? This is so I know what you can and cannot see. The green mat does say Habako. It does. It says it right there. So here's a reason why the green mat is down there. What I discovered in testing earlier is that this webcam does not like focusing on a white space with little tiny heavily shadowed colored pieces sitting underneath it and everything was one big blur. But by throwing this mat down, it gives it a focal point and it actually picks up the Habako and focuses in on all of it. Um, but it creates other kind of problems. Like if I want to I want to show off a, another Lego. It doesn't like to focus in unless it takes up a huge amount of the screen. Like, so. It's worse with mini face. I actually have to flat palm it to hide the, the hobby comb mat. But yes, it's a builder's cutting mat. I use it for putting RC planes together. Uh, and as you can tell by the, the paint circles, models, and other things. Which I may actually break out and do one or both of those at some point. So let's put Han together. Let's see where we... There we go. Now he's got his little... Now right away I'm looking at this, uh, this instruction set and there's something different about it. If you remember the last time I did a build, I commented on something I had noticed about Lego minifigs all being left-handed. Guess what? Not Han. He is actually representing as right-handed, which is really weird because almost everyone else 
Now watch. See, even Chewy, left-handed. Not even. Oh, I take it back. He's right-handed. I wonder if all the Star Wars characters are right-handed and just everybody else is left-handed. Who knows? Han. Anywho. So yeah, the, the hobby co mat's a, a focal point. The blue line is so that I know if I move my hands past the blue line, there's also blue lines on both sides. You can't see what I'm doing. So it's, it's a visual reference for me. All right. One thing I love about this is I can actually see, even with the big wrinkle in it from the packing, um, the manual, whereas with uh, the other sets I did, I couldn't see anything. It was like being blind because it was just a wall of glare. You may have some glare on this. I'm still working out lighting. Um, but I can see just fine. And since I'm the one building, I think that's important. Could be me. So the other thing I can't really do um, is know what this looks like, sounds like, or how many of you there are, because my entire chat is on my iPad in front of me, because again, everything's over there, way over there, that side. Um, and I can't, can't really see it. I have X split up so that I can see that there are in fact things going on and I have the nice little red information saying I'm broadcasting, but outside of that, no clue. So, put it all together. Big square bits. Turn the page. Oh, I certainly like these larger sets because they do have better instructions. They're easier, more concise. They tell you what you'll need. You're going to need one of these. You're going to need one of these. And you're going to need one of these. And they're going to go together like so. I'm always amazed um, at the actual engineering behind Legos. The sound is good and it looks really good. Awesome. I, I kind of, I did a, a dinky build earlier today just for my own kind of messing around just to sort of see based on what it, uh, what it would look like. One thing I realized was there's a window AC in this room that cannot be on when I'm trying to do this, which means these streams will be short during the summer and fall and probably bits of the spring uh, because this is in a loft space, which has a slanted roof right above me. In fact, if I were about another four or five inches taller, I'd smack the roof here, which has a skylight. Like this is the camera. The skylight's actually just past it and it's in a slant. So in the summer, this would basically be like a Kenny Rogers roaster oven. So it would not be a place you would want to be at all. Very toasty. Very, very toasty. All right, we have a hinge. Because at some point on Hoth, everything becomes unhinged. But I'm going. All right. See, so like I said, there's a, there's a ginormous set of this now. It's just like massive. It's all of the little tiny Hoth sets that they've ever released kind of packed into one. Which sort of got everybody a little upset because there's a, there's a Hoth set that has a snow speeder. There's a Hoth set that has, you know, this. And it really kind of took those two pieces and expanded on them more than actually being a brand new set, which didn't go over so great. And it's 250 bucks. But in other news, um, they have announced a brand new Death Star. Also not the biggest, most happiest thing that people announce, uh, that, that LEGO announced recently, because it is kind of a rehash uh, of the last Death Star that they made, which is kind of a bummer. But for those of us that didn't get it, it's kind of cool. It is slightly larger. The original um, that they did had uh, 3,803 pieces. And the new one has 4,016. So moderately larger. Um, mostly the same minifigs. It's got one brand new 
uh, minifig that's not currently in any other sets, which is an Imperial droid. Um, but you lose the little uh, little skateboard droid that everybody remembers from the movie. That has been removed from the set. So give and take, I guess, a little bit. So what I was saying earlier about the engineering, it always amazes me as you build these things that there's honest to gosh engineering that goes on in creating and designing and putting this all together. Um, when you build the larger sets, you, you come to realize that there are interconnecting structures, structures that lend, you know, rigidity that give, you know, just all sorts of everything you need in terms of keeping things together. Let me put that there. In ways that most of us probably wouldn't think of. It's like, oh, I didn't even, didn't even realize that was a thing that needed to happen. Um, like the, uh, the Lego Millennium Falcon. It was just... You would build a section and you come to realize that it was pure supports. It, it wasn't part of the Falcon. It was just putting things together. It was kind of neat, really. It was the glue that held it together. All right. We are making progress. Step number two. Of course, none of this actually looks like <laughs> anything yet, really. But we're getting there. Can you imagine doing a 4,000 piece set on, on a live stream? Yikes. I don't have enough room for all the Legos. Obviously this is Echo Base that we're building. RIP storage space. Eh, not really. I took one look at it and was like, hmm, you know, <laughs> let's not do that. Let's not go with it because it's even worse in there in terms of heat. At least here there's a, a window AC that can be lit up and things can be made tolerable, but not in there. Not even a little bit. So here's a good example of what I was just talking about. So if you look, these randomly placed things actually lend some support here. I'll see if I can get this in here. If you can see where the two plates come together and this third beige plate is just kind of laid over and then reinforced again. And then the same thing with, with this Lego and holding the, the two plates together. Just smart engineering. They know what they're doing. They may have done it once or twice before. Yeah, I decided I'm not going in that storage space until like winter sets in fully. <laughs> it's just too toasty in there. What well, when I do go in there, um, I'll probably figure out which planes I want to build over the winter in which order. And that will mean that at least a few of these streams will probably end up being things like building an RC Piper Cub and seeing how that all comes together or fails to. <laughs> Both outcomes are likely. Very much so. So my hope overall is because right now this camera, I can make you guys like totally motion sick. Watch this. Whee! Um, it, it's, it's quite the jury rig up there. It is, uh, it's a microphone stand with a gooseneck, flex neck on it, plugged into a little handheld, it's supposed to be handheld stick mic, uh, platform that screws into a standard, uh, microphone base, which the, the the Logitech webcam is got an adapter screwed into it that screws into the base. So it's really this, if I bump it, it'll all go out of whack and out of alignment. It will be a mess. So I, I definitely need to figure out a slightly better plan than that. 
but I'm pretty happy with it right now. There, there's actually a light right here um, that has a piece of paper wrapped around it to help cut down some glare, but still give nice diffuse light. The light over here, I don't know if you can tell the color. On my screen, it looks pretty good, but the light over here is actually a combination of a um, white fluorescent and a LifeX LED bulb. And the, the LifeX is actually changed to a kind of a greenish color. to kind of cut down a little bit on glare and oddities and artifacts. But it seems to be doing okay. All right, number 14. So down on my, on my uh, little notes and stuff down there, there's also a reference to the new ginormous Disney castle that uh, that Lego is coming out with. Actually, I think it just came out, or it comes out on the 15th. I can't remember which. But it's huge. It's ridiculous huge. It comes with a bunch of Disney min minifigs. The better half, who's a huge Disney fan, um, hates it. Totally hates it. Because so, the, so they made the try and explain the whole background. They made the castle the Disney theme park castle, right? But the Disney theme park castle is, of course, based on Cinderella's castle. So since she is a tremendous Cinderella's castle fan, the question is, why didn't they just make it Cinderella? Which is a valid point, but that's a whole other product line. Ooh, now we have a little, a little build. So this time, need this one with the flat base. We'll put this in here. Oops, other way. Yes, you can put Legos together backwards. Fun fact. And because I'm not actually skipping ahead, I really have no idea what I'm building right now. <laughs> I should look at the box. Let's see. Oh, so this area, I'm guessing. Over here. Because there's the two, two plates. Bam. Da -da -da. All sorts of crazy fun stuff. And let's see, other Lego info news stuff. There's, um, God, Lego Dimensions. There's so much Lego Dimensions coming out. On the 27th, um, a whole new um, base plate section based on the new Ghostbusters movie. There's just everything. It's crazy. Turn the page. And we need this. And this. There are, I'll say there's like 10 new sets coming. Just about. Ah, great. So basically, this is what I'm talking about. I had no idea what I was built, but we have a working little knob with meshing gears. So something's going to rotate. I'm going to guess it's the... Uh, There's, there's the knob. So this this turret's going to rotate when we're done. Hooray! I wonder how many times I can throw that on the floor and make it sound like something exploded. Before the better half comes up here and says, what are you doing? Not that one. I guess it is that one. All right. La, 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 la. And again, just that ever so subtle interlocking to help hold things together. I am step eighteen. How many steps? 
Let's see. So, I forgot they break them up. Uh, I, I see a 40 in there. 50, 50. We're going to be here a while, kids. And then we'll build a probe droid. 233 pieces. So, one of the things I realize is as I'm talking, I tend to pause and it's probably go a lot faster if I didn't talk, but it'd be far less interesting because of all the utterly useless information that I spout. Unless you're a Lego fan, in which case I'm sure you're thrilled, completely enraptured, and just cannot get enough. Just nod your heads at home. That's okay. Do -do -do. So one of the cool things about not having a camera on, on my face, I could be doing anything over here and you would not know. I could be wearing anything or not wearing anything. Take that thought to bed with you tonight. And you would not know. I may be wearing a three-piece suit, but I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I don't even own a three-piece suit. I guess technically I have a two-piece suit. Which, if you change out one of the pieces, basically becomes a sports jacket and pants. Hey, Naz. Welcome to the stream. I'm totally naked. And so are all of you. At least in my mind. We should rename the stream to Naked Legos. Because, look, none of them are wearing clothes. <gasps> Don't look. Um... <laughs> How goes things? How does? So, as you're watching this, there's an overlay, or there better be an overlay, or something broke. That that has things like new followers, stupid thing about tippers. I'm, I'm watching it go by. Um, yeah, latest followers. So, as you're actually on there, as the, as the latest. So the hope is. You can see my little goal there for 300 folks. Because eventually, people will give a dang enough to come hang out and just see this stuff on Thursday. I, I realize a lot of that's my fault because I haven't been terribly reliable with my streams. But I really want to kind of set aside Thursdays for this. <laughs> and now that I got nothing else to do with my time, there's no reason why I shouldn't. Uh, which reminds me, if anybody needs a uh, community manager, hi, I'm available. Um, I looked, uh-oh. <laughs> Told you not to look. Job has a dress code? Nah, heck with that. Last two years I've worked from home. Dress code, what's that? Every time I've had to go somewhere, it's like, man. And at one point, traveling three days out of the week, that was a little, uh, a little madness. But uh, yes, yeah, so and now I'm looking for gigs. Gig, gigs, singular, plural, whatever. Need a consultant? I can tell you everything you're doing wrong. I should con Jacob into. You know what? I pointed out when I was doing the research for Twitch Creative that uh, they let you do like Warcraft or uh, Warhammer miniatures. And Jacob's big into that. It, it, if if you've ever seen what he posts on Facebook, you know, from time to time, he'll, he'll post up his his figures that he's painted and working on. And he's really good. I mean, he's better than I can be. Every once in a while, I notice he puts up a model plane too. He did a Mustang the other day. Um, and again, he's just, he's got a steadier, younger hand than I do, I guess, is the answer. It make me sad. All right, so somewhere it seems like I missed a piece. I did miss a piece. Shh, don't look. Cop didn't see it. I didn't do it. That's not where it goes. It goes over there. We're not Facebook friends. Ah. I will harass him again. I, I know when I posted it, he was, uh, he was like, oh, got to get some of that. So <clears throat> we'll see. 
he's a busy dude though so he's got a lot going on they have a social eating category of course you can pay it's weird i was looking at it and they really do have interesting categories <clears throat> but it's like when I was reading through the what you can and cannot do on the creative channel, obviously this came up model building. And I was a little confused by the fact that building Lego sets, actual Lego sets, not necessarily creatively creating Legos uh, where you just dump a pile on the floor and say, I'm going to build France today. Um, and then 18 hours later, you build, you know, the Chambre de Lille. but you can build sets, which from a certain point of view are toys, right? Hmm. But you cannot assemble toys. So there's kind of that weird, I guess because this is sort of creative uh, and because you could put stuff together. So we shall see. But yeah, there's some weird stuff. So like you can stream Pictionary, like the actual Pictionary where you draw uh, on paper and stuff with friends, but you can't do it as a creative. Uh, they actually have a Pictionary category. So apparently there is enough interest in people watching other people play Pictionary that it has its own category. Which is kind of neat. If I did, ever did something like that, it would be like, let's see how, how completely inept Rick is at drawing. Because that's about what it would be. And trust me, really inept. All my stick figures have scoliosis. I cannot draw a straight line. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line unless I draw it. Because then it's like an arc in four different directions. So you'll never see me on the Pictionary streams. Guarantee you. But yeah, you can do, there was a whole list of, of like the examples they gave in the, in the model building section and building an RC plane, building plastic model kits, building Warhammer miniatures, all were kind of specifically called out. And I pointed that out to Jacob and he seemed at the time to be kind of hip to the idea. But like I said, busy dude, busy, busy dude. Oops, where did go? Oh no, it's, there it is. This is a part, part where I usually get paranoid that a piece is missing. For the record, in my entire life, I've never had a Lego set with a missing piece. Never, not one. Not once. Do, 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 do. So base of the turret. Ta-da. We're going to be attached to something eventually. I've got a long team. Can you dig it? Look, shovel. Say, at some point, you've got to build a trench. No. Actually, <laughs> I think it is. That's kind of funny. I not really think about it. Well, that, that solves the mystery. How did all those trenches end up on Hoth? Massive public works project. I don't know if you could see that <laughs> with the light flash thing, uh, but fun story. Remember I said I had a LifeX bulb up here. They're programmable LEDs and you can tie them to if this, then that. <clears throat> so I have an if this, then that set up that basically says, if the International Space Station flies over my house, flash my lights. So what you just saw was ISS going by. 
Look, we've connected things. Ooh, and it makes noise. So yeah, uh, depending on where we are in the ISS cycle, that may happen again before the end of this stream, but that that's what it is. It's the ISS going by. Next time we'll wave. Fire, I had a set with missing pieces, but that was because some jerk stole the actual set, put some random pieces in there, and took it back to the store to get a refund. Wow. Really? So not cool. Store made it right, though. That's good. That was very cool. Very good of them. Yeah, if this, then that, and life X bulbs, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, they... Let's see, how do I have these programmed? Um, at 8.30 a.m., uh, remember, uh, I've last two years I've been working from home. So every morning at 8.30 a.m., they fade up uh, so that by the time I get up here at 9, it, uh, it's fully lit and just kind of fades in. And then at uh, 6.30, they fade over about a minute to get dark as a reminder to say, Hey, Rick, you should probably stop doing that work stuff and actually leave the <laughs> leave the office and go do something else. Because otherwise, uh, it's dark enough in here and I have the windows covered because of glare and heat. I would never know what time of day it was. I would just stay up here forever and put in like 9,000 hours a day of work. Look, we have more stuff. Bouncy, bouncy. Uh, it was the X-Wing set that had both Luke and Wedge in it. Oh, no. And they, they gave you another one that was complete after you took it back and, and told them. I wonder if they went back to the, to, the, uh, to the other customer and said, Hey. I mean, I would assume they had a record of who it was, a credit card or something. I would think... Personally, Oops. There we go. and they, they just gave you another one. Cool, but you don't know if they ever went back to like the guy and told him he was a jerk or anything terribly appropriate like that. Because I think if I was a store manager, I totally would have. Said, hey, we're putting this thing back on your card, Pally. Of course, I wonder what excuse you gave him for returning a Lego set. Opened. Or maybe they didn't realize it had been opened. And that's possible. Hey, we're building more hinges. We're going to be even more connected. It'll be like the world's most connected hidden outpost ever. Because that's important when you have a hidden outpost, that it be connected. Moving right along. This is going to be a triple hinged kind of thing. Actually, hinge back on itself. Uh, oops. Goes there. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. All these little pieces. Sometimes it's like because they got sharp little edges. When you push them in, it's almost almost not quite as bad as stepping on them. It's stabbed in the fingers. Little Lego puncture wounds. Yeah, I know. First world problems. Yep, totally. So we're almost done with bag one. That was just step number 35 there. 
Oh, look. We're expanding Echo Pace. Ta da! Base expansions. It's like a Hoth expansion pack. Not really. There, there's one of those lovely ones you don't want to step on. It gets you right in the foot. Scratch. Ah. Although the worst are definitely the, the big six-part box with, with the or the the eight-piece box. Those have really nice sharp edges at the bottom. They got just the right size. You step on those things on the carpet, your neighbors know about it. It's the ultimate booby trap, as proven in Home Alone. We have a little little ice structure at the end here. I guess that means we won't be adding on any additional bits. We take this and this. The Lego interpretation of ice sculpture. And forte. <laughs> so Apparently I was right. <laughs> and now there's, see, engineering again. If you look, there's a little latch piece right in there. Let's see if I can, sometimes I gotta, there you go. A little latch piece. I'm gonna rotate this all around. And now, see if I can make this show up. Actually, I have to hide the back. You can. It snapped in there pretty good. So it's not coming apart. But what I thought was going to be a joke turned out to be actually how it goes together. Base plate. Put him near Han. And now for bag number two. Extra bits. That's what I mean about never really having had missing pieces. I mean, this is all extra pieces. There's always these little extra bits bought this the other day. I figure as we do these, and I get more and more extra pieces. This thing will be cool. More bits. Sounds like Christmas. For a ginormous bag of Cheetos. Totally threw that on the floor. So the next thing is I'm actually going to get a larger one of these hobby mats. I've decided I, I do like having it on the table for other than just visual reference for the camera. Uh, it took me forever to figure out um, earlier today why the camera was freaking out when I dumped Legos on the table. It's because the way the lighting's set up, it casts a ton of shadows on this nice white background over here. <laughs> the camera was just like, everything's blurry. And that is exactly how it rendered everything. Blurry, blurry, blurry. I'll make a little rebel dude to go with on. Should probably stand on up. Right? We'll, we'll put him there. We'll give him something to do. Not, uh, now I feel like I'm under guard. Point that thing somewhere else. All right. This is going to be a snow trooper at some point. Do goggles. Where's his head? There it is. Oh, a single head. So he's only printed on one side. Depending on the set, you'll get like two um, two facial expressions. You'll get the kind of neutral one like he has, and then you'll get like a screaming lunatic one. This one's. Hey, you know what? Rick's not paying attention. <laughs> I've made a horrible crossbreed of a snow trooper and a. Rebel Defender. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> Oops. You go over there. You're confusing me. And he needs a backpack. Where does backpack go? Where's his backpack? I just keep ripping the guy's head off like it's nothing. It'll be fine. 
There we go. Now there's, there's actually, man, I don't know if I can get this so that you can see it. Let me try. Hang on a second. That works. Um, there's two positions. You can either put the goggles on them, or you can put the goggles in a flipped up position, depending on which of these, these anchor points that you use. So I'm going to go flipped up. Ta -da. So there's our little dude. Yeah, I think it's a Star Wars thing. He's right-handed. Yep. Where's my also awesome and excellent rifle that he gets? I see little guns. That's a Stormtrooper blaster. Uh-oh. So it's... Where does gun go? There it is. Big gun. Yeah, so we were talking earlier in another stream I mentioned. Actually, I can show you here. So I, I built this earlier today. It's a little Captain Cold with um, an ice cream cone and a Zamboni. Notice he's left-handed. His gun is in his left hand. Um, but these guys are right-handed. Everything I built the other night, they were all left-handed. Uh I'm curious to see. I, I have a theory, and when we get to the stormtrooper, it, it may play out or it may not. But we'll see. Stormtrooper should be next. Nope, they put it in his right hand too. I was going to go with the theory that well, maybe they've taken the old approach of left handed people are bad, and so they made them into bad guys, but no. Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm going to start paying attention again. Nope, oh, that doesn't go there there. That's better. All right. This is kind of a neat thing. A little box of goodness. It has its own part number. So if you remember, the snow troopers had the kind of little skirting dust ruffle around their butts, whatever you want to call it. That's kind of what this is. This, up the top. You see me reaching out like this because I'm reaching for my iPad. That's where the chat is. And this goes over there. This goes over there. And then you need a five-year-old to come and help you hold it all in place. Those adult fingers don't work for this. There we go. And that. And kind of smoosh it down a little bit. It didn't quite go all the way around like it was supposed to. There we go. Like I said, you need five-year-old fingers to do this. There we go. Ta-da! It's even got a split in it so we can sit down and walk. And we'll build his backpack for him. These are pre-printed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this. Yep, very fine detail. This. So, so yeah, like I said, um, I threw that overlay up there just to kind of give a... Who's watching? What's watching? What's going on? And so I can say hey to new people when they join. Which I actually haven't looked over there in a second. Let me see. Shul! Alright. Put his little backpack on. His head. No, he only has one one facial expression too. Permanently pissed off. But you're not going to be able to see it anyways. Because it's going into there. And totally killing my theory that they were going to make bad guys left-handed and good guys right-handed. He's a righty. I have to get used to where that camera is actually looking. All right.
Now comes all the intricate little bits. This will be entertaining. We have plumbing. It's little flexos for beating minifigs with. No. All the little tiny pieces that are ever so much fun to deal with. We have a wrench. Where'd it go? There it is. It's a big wrench with, with a screwdriver bottom to it, I guess. Do that, do that, do that. And where's the other bit? This. All right. See, these hurt too, man. You step on one of these, you're going to know about it. All those sharp, pointy bits. Right, right in like the arch of your foot. Don't! Like, regret it forever. But I was always a good kid. I never left my Legos on the floor. Of course, I was also a weird kid. I didn't want people stepping on them. Not because I didn't want them getting hurt. I just didn't want people stepping on my toys. Because, you know. I don't want, like, foot gunk on my Legos. Because that would be bad. All right. Put that on there. It's a plumbing setup. All right. Decal. That's a heck of a page for decals. Totally terrible at this, by the way. So, let's see. Mist. There we go. Not as bad as I thought I was going to be with that. And, oops, you got to move, dude. Because, I'm going to put this in here. Oops. And, zip it around. And it goes, right like so. That may actually be in the wrong spot. Nope, that's the right spot. There. Like so. Actually, look into this. You see what I see? So based on this, this is right. You see this section? It's missing. Did I skip a bit? I didn't think I skipped a bit. But clearly I must have. Because I don't have a little bit there. Which is this. Interesting. We'll snap him in real quick. But it didn't look like there was any um it didn't look like that gray piece was a leftover piece. And then um, and we snap in there real quick. Whoop. That's usually when you go diving under the desk. There's one of those little suckers. There we go. Now we match the picture. And I guarantee you we show up a, a piece short or something. Because I wasn't paying attention. There. Kind of looks like the picture now. Hooray. Success. All right. We'll set that aside. Turret time. So more uh, manufacture of gears and stuff. A little geared base, little teeth in it. And a hub. Kind of a spoke system they use. Uh oh, my iPad just crapped out. One second. There we go. We can rotate our little tower there. And oops. Try that one more time. There we go. That side. And that side. 
can rotate freely. And rock some decals. And those other two go. Gotta put the door on it. How else is anyone getting in? Maybe the end of the decals. And there's it lined up here. Da, 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 da. And there we go. And we have doors. So now it's officially a rebel outhouse. <laughs> or something. Two shooter sticks, where'd they go? So these are kind of a neat little Lego piece. You can't really see into them um, too terribly well, I don't think. I'll try, see if I can get this to show what they look like. So there's a spring in there to launch these. They go in there and you can kind of tell springy. Oh. Put these on here. Like so. And the non shooty bits on the other side. And again, that, that little engineering touch. You know, it, it's not quite together. It's making it so you can take it all apart. The decals on one of the pieces, not across. This can be taken apart. But, oh, by the, like I was saying, the shooty bit. Do not shoot people in the eye. Do not use the little plastic bags as a toy. Do not shoot people in the eye. All kinds of no fun police going on. There we go. Exciting Star Wars sounds. I feel like I'm playing asteroids. <laughs> it really, it really does sound like asteroids. All right. Got one. Got two. Tower. I got a big circle. And on top of the circle, we're going to make the circle bigger. Because we can never have too big a circle. That, that is exactly, <laughs> pew pew is exactly right. I have my own pew pew. I can just stop right there and play with that all night. That'll be great. See how fast I can get thrown out of the house doing that. Almost makes me want to make a soundboard out of it. <laughs> Check this out. I would then literally be able to bring the noise. So, you know, life goal. Uh oh, oh, for a second I thought I spoke too soon. I was going to have a missing piece. Alright, oh good lord, you don't want me to sing. No. Bad things, man. Although someone suggested the other day that I should totally live stream karaoke. And my response was not enough rum on the planet. Zip. Just ain't happening. But you could probably convince me to stream rock band as long as I'm not singing. There we go. A dirty bit. A dirty bit. Sounds dangerously close to something else. Oops. Where is it? There it is. Under that. Ta da. This. So now we're going to end up with a blaster end here. The pointy bits, as it were. 
There we go. That's a passable cannon. Out of what are really sort of cranks and, and pulley bits. Pretty neat. It's starting to look more and more like a, a blaster turret. Oh, look, we even have a lid. We've got a hatch. And it's not Richard Hatch, which makes it all the better. <gasps> Did I really say that? All right. Let me put this on that. Dun, dun, dun. And we have a turret that's on backwards. How cool. Try that again. Of course, I just took two pieces off together instead of the one. Here we go. Oh, I hate when I do this. Because now everything is misaligned. You got to kind of there. There we go. Ta-da! Turret. Which is now going to be added to the base. On the spike. Like so. And provided I didn't screw it up. Ta -da, ta da We have a functional turret. Or a turning turret. Which we will not which we will arm in the next step. Okay, start placing the bets. At what point in the rest of this live stream? <laughs> Am I going to in inadvertently shoot myself in the face with these things? Because we now have a fully operational turret. And again, warnings, don't shoot yourself in the eye, but by all means, test fire not shooting yourself in the eye. And because Lego is smart and knows that one is going to end up under the sofa to later be eaten by the vacuum cleaner monster, there's a spare. Running out of pieces, folks. We're almost there. Oh, look, yet another opportunity to put your eye out. Sick. All right, just because of that, at this point, I kind of have to. <laughs> I have no idea what that looked like. I did miss the camera ever so slightly. It hit the side of it instead of right in the lens, which is what I was shooting for. Literally. I don't know if that camera is good enough to actually capture that little shot or not. But here's, here's one more opportunity to shoot one's eye out. <laughs> that was just one barrel. Should have got you with both. Right, here's another one of these little little genius pieces of engineering that allow things to be flung across rooms. Just this one. They, see all the little extras here? Because they know these things will never be found again. Well, somehow miraculously that one came right back to me. This is going to end up being the Snowtroopers turret, I bet. It looks like a, a man portable. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Man portable assault device. Now we're going to build a little. Um, a little tripod for it. And then little pokey bits. There they are. One, two, three. quick military tripod to come out of levers and antennas is what they use these things for in other sets. And let's see, I don't actually have one on anything that's on the table. These are like the world's most common Lego piece that's not a standard piece. They use them in everything. They're gear shifters, they're antennas, 
their legs for a blaster's tripod, <laughs> pretty much whatever they need to be. <laughs> Did I miss? <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Little tripod, mount the gun on it. It's that way. There we go. That does not look terribly stable to me. Oh, maybe the handles will balance it out. Almost went diving. There we have a tripod mounted blaster. It really fires. That's what I thought. That thing just is not working. Let's angle these forward. There we go. Nope. <laughs> hey, gravity, knock it off. There we go. Just had to lean it back far enough. Oh, <laughs> turn the page and learn how to not look stupid on a live stream. Look, they knew you couldn't balance the thing out. <laughs> so they made a little clear stand so it wouldn't tip forward. Don't. Once again, you should test fire it. See if I can get you this time. <laughs> Man, that thing bounced all over the place. There we go. Everybody still got their eyes. Probe droid time. Probe droid is just something you should always say on a live stream, I think. What time is it, kids? Probe droid time. There's our minifigs. And, oh, probe. Look, we, the, the cannon had its own counting. Now the probe droid gets its own. The minifigs don't get, don't get their own thing. Probe droids are apparently made out of spider webs or ship's wheels, depending on which set these came out of. Good thing I wear gunners. I have two different pair of gunners. I've got a, uh, I got a sunglass pair that's always in the car. I, I've become extraordinarily meticulous about protecting those things because of what I paid for them. Uh, and then I've just got a, a standard, you know, yellow lens pair that, that I wear uh, while I'm working. Cut out all the glare because there's a ton of glare here. Oh, look, these aren't all little extra bullets. Actually serve a purpose. Alrighty. Four little attachment points. Yeah, I, I have a hard case too. Uh, Druid's fire. I uh, when I was traveling a lot, it saved them many times because I'd take them off, put them in the hard case, and drop them in my backpack. And if they hadn't been in the hard case, <laughs> they would be dunners instead of gunners. Let me just make that perfectly clear. They they, they wouldn't have lasted a month. They'd have been completely destroyed. Ooh, look, flying effect. You can't see that. It just looks like it's magically flying. Oops. And crashing. Right. We have arms full of guns. You can arm bears, bear arms, whatever you want to do. Let's see how this is working out. Do that. And that four times. Oh, it wants them back the other way. That would actually be uh, that. That. All right. Yeah, I think they make the the ones that I bought 
I don't think they stopped. They have blue frames. They're nice. I like them. They make the sun not go into my eyes and make me blind, so... They work according to, uh, according to the ads, right? And that's kind of the whole point. To do, to, to. Do, ba -do. Great. Very satisfying click on these. Makes me feel like I've actually done something when the Legos click into place instead of just sort of slipping into place. Click. See. See? Very satisfying. All right. So now, going back to what I said with that jar, all of these are leftover pieces. We got an extra visor. We got a little extra backpack thing. Extra tripod leg, attachment point, arms, a couple extra little ice bits there, a few of these, extra gun, just in case. Shove all those out of the way. In fact, these will all go into the jar. I wonder if I can get a shot straight down this thing. Uh, all those go in. So like I said, never had a Lego set that didn't have all the pieces. They've always all had all the pieces in them. And there, let me get this staged up. Uh, ah, so that's why it has a hatch. So that we can put our guy in there. Thought that looked very chair like. Do that. And the, and the picture actually shows it half closed on him. That is a trench tool, by the way. It is exactly what you thought it was. So, technically, I guess these guys should be attacking. There's our snow trooper. It's gun. There's Han. Blow up the probe droid. And we're done. There's our whole hot set. All the bits work. We've got the rotating cannon. Shot it in there. The problem with that hobby co mat is it does actually try to focus on everything behind it. So it gets a little blurry up close, but and you can um Oops, where is it? You can actually, if you have the space, the reason they did this is you can make this kind of a, you know, a whole diorama kind of thing here. Make it different bits, and then it closes back up. But that would be our set. So that's uh, Lego Star Wars 75138. The Hoth set. The smaller Hoth set. The Hoth attack set instead of assault. 233 pieces. Pretty cool set. Um, like I said, if, if you go all out and spend 250 bucks, you get this monster set that actually includes all of this. Um, I think this was 29 bucks. And given my space constraints, it fits far better. Oh. Almost forgot. There we go. We all right, cool beans. So yeah, I'm going to make a a better effort to be here every Thursday. I have something like twenty odd um, Lego sets. I have, er, let's see, I have. Uh, the original Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters that we'll do at some point. I've got a bunch of these little guys, um, which are cool if you've never seen the, the Micro Fighter sets. Um, this is the... They're actually... There's six to a series. This this is series three. And they're actually paired. We'll see how much of this you can see. So you can see 
Chewie's little ship in the back there. Down on the package, they're paired. I have all of these. So I built Chewie. I did not build the, build the walker. Uh, but I have all the others, so we'll, we'll put those all together at some point. Um, I've got two X-Wings, a TIE Fighter. Um, and we start doing stuff a, even a little bit bigger than this. This was only 230 pieces. I've got, uh, so like I said, the TIE Fighter is, I want to say 600 pieces. Um, I've got Kylo Ren's command ship, which I think is almost 1,000 or maybe slightly bigger. Uh, Leia's uh, transport ship, which is about 700. The X-Wings are about 700. So I've got all those. Um, also somewhere buried in the storage space, which should I choose to venture in there? Uh, Helm's Deep is in there um, from the Lord of the Rings. So at some point that will get dragged out and we will build that. But for this evening, that is that. If anybody has like a set they've never seen that they're like totally like you should totally build this on a live stream let me know if it's reasonably priced i'll get it I, i'll say this right out i will be getting the new death star and it will become a stream at some point um the, the better half thinks that i should actually time lapse it which i'll probably also do just to have something utterly ridiculous um build a death star in time lapse i think would actually be kind of cool so we will do that too. Don't mind me, I'm playing with my Legos. Sneak attack. So <laughs> I will put this somewhere tonight. And within a few days, I can guarantee you, however I set it up, it will change. So I, I, I almost wish I could take the camera over there uh, and, and show you. But at the moment... I can see it from here. Um, the Millennium Falcon has been all opened up. It used to be closed, but now everywhere that there's a minifig inside, it's open. I did not do it. And Leia has... I'm not sure whether Leia is shooting Han in the back, or Han has been shot in the back and Leia is trying to help him, um, but the Han and Leia minifigs are, are arranged in such a way that somebody got shot, or is about to get shot. And the, the better half is responsible for that as well. She um, she rearranges my minifigs um, fairly regularly. She was up here the other day talking to me and the whole time she was just kind of looking at him like, what can I mess with? So at some point, however I arrange this, it will get changed. So I build them and technically she plays with them. I set them up for static display, but she plays with them. Okay. Oh, I'm going to show you guys this. Um, mostly because I got to tear it down and rebuild it. But, and when I do that, I will actually do it on the stream. Check this out. This is a Lego octocopter. And yes, it actually flies uh, and it works. But I have to tear it down and rebuild it because it had a boo boo. So when I do that, I'll make sure to stream the the rebuilding and maybe fire it up. It, it doesn't fly terribly well. But anyways, that's that for this evening. Thank you for coming by and watching. See, I'm making you guys seasick again. I can just got to do something about that camera. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching me build out this Lego set. Next Thursday, I'll do another Lego set. I may, um, I may do something tomorrow. I don't know. I may play a game or something. We'll see. Um, I may build another Lego set because like I said, I got 20 some odd of these things, but that will be tomorrow. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Everybody have a great night and we'll see you next time.